Hey there Carl, it's uh, Game Changer here, just having a look at your base, I've sent you a direct message so hopefully this won't be a surprise, um, Major Destruction just asked if I'd uh, have a little scout about for you. Um, so first observation, yeah you know your shit, um, you've always got your walls set up correctly so that your troops etc stay inside and your vehicles uh, stay inside so that's absolutely excellent. Um, I don't know yet because I'll need you to send us some uh, information over, which I'll uh, I'll um, I'll obviously direct message you. Um, I don't know yet what you've got in your barracks or what you've got in. I can tell you've got a tank at least. Now, uh, just be mindful if you've got PKs or s Eans, I think they're quite easy to defeat uh, in the bases. I tend to find uh, Humvee IVF if you've got them, you know, IFV rather, uh, or three tanks uh, in the order of tank, tank, tank can work out quite well. Um, I'd certainly suggest mortar men in in your uh, barracks there. I think they're very very effective, especially if you've got everything uh, you know trapped with inside the wall, so it can't get out. So that's absolutely excellent. Um, just be mindful uh, that at the moment you're very machine gun led, uh, which I would absolutely love if I was attacking you. Um, so what I would do, I'd just probably uh, um, send me tank from here to about here, about there, say. Uh, and then that would uh, mean that your two machine guns here would lock onto that, so would the uh, salvo, and then while they lock it onto the tank, I'd send obviously everything I've got straight in at your base and take it out. Um, you tend to find machine guns just, we're no longer facing uh, many troops, it's mainly heavy vehicles, uh, tanks first, followed by. Um, um, you know, IRS 13s, PKs, Humvees, or whatever else they've, they've got uh, to chuck at you. Um, but machine guns just aren't strong enough to take that kind of enemy down. So I would say that if you if you look to change uh, to, say, um, at least salvos, I, I would probably go uh, howitzers personally. Um, I think you also need an extra flak in there. I'd say you'd be uh, vulnerable to airstrike. Uh, so I'd go two flax, uh, I'd go three howitzers and maybe a salvo in the middle uh, and just also be having a think so at the moment you've got your machine gun um, uh, transformer which is going to boost it but your salvo isn't, this machine gun isn't so if, you, if you're a little bit more careful on your base positioning uh, and try and get uh, two turrets each on each transformer then you're maxing them up um, at the moment yes this will get probably up to 60% uh, but that one's got zero and then that's got zero um, if you've got any howitzer or salvo on a transformer then the, the rate that it fires is massively increased so you'll be hitting twice as hard um, uh, as, as without um, your, your base looks good in the sense that you've got everything spread out uh, you can maybe just try and spread out a little bit further um, there's not much area there I mean there's an area here where you could potentially um, get in but again obviously you, 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 you're at the wall there um, but uh, ultimately you could spawn quicker here that may give somebody uh, I mean I could maybe use um, some sort of like um, mortar men attack or something along that sort of line and take out your barracks I mean you, you run the risk of obviously getting picked up by that uh, if that isn't protecting the, this side of the wall here, you should be looking at that because that would be, uh, you know, leave you vulnerable, especially later on when you've got the missile carrying vehicles and things like that. Uh, you could literally sit behind this wall and rain, rain fire over. Um, so you must make sure you've got something. I mean, I would probably have that as a, as your um, howitzer or something like that. So you, um, you certainly need something there to protect this area of rock outcrop because the machine guns won't pick it up and you can often hide behind there and just ruin death on people um, other than that mate it's pretty good um, you, you, you're defending your helicopter as well but my, my biggest concern for yourself is you're vulnerable to tank attack because your machine guns aren't going to obviously do a great deal for it and you are vulnerable to air attack I appreciate the moment you're probably thinking well I've got one uh, flak and three uh, in fact four machine guns so you're probably feeling you're not vulnerable to air attack but if I send in uh, like a half ass attack where he'd probably say send a tank in from this side and a tank in from excuse me screen I'm seeming having a bit of trouble zooming out there, brother. There we are. 
So he'd send a tank in from both sides in a sense really and that would tie up every single machine gun and then while they're tied up he would he would send um, you know an airstrike in and things like that or he would send in his, his Humvees or PKs or whatever your, your attack format is. So I think you're vulnerable that way brother so I would suggest uh, increase your flak. Uh, get everything transformed up, you've got three transformers but only three turrets are benefiting from them, so three arms uh, and uh, move uh, away from um, you know machine gun towards some of that's going to be heavier duty especially the closer towards T3 you get mate, machine guns just aren't going to cut it um, the other thing I would suggest if you haven't already is um, ensure that you get every turret with the maximum amount of firepower so you can see this one is level 5, this one isn't um, uh, this one is, this one isn't. So whatever, uh, every single turret for me should have the maximum flak on it, it should have the maximum salve on it, it should have the maximum machine gun on it, and so on and so forth. Whether you use that, uh, that turret or not, uh, the fact that you've got it, uh, a little bit like when the flak issue came on the, the other week, uh, all of a sudden flaks were no good, but be, you could adapt quickly to that uh, scenario, whereas if, you, if, if every gun is just the one that you use maxed out, then that's not strong enough. So a um, little bit of work on that, brother, and uh, I think you're, you're going to be pretty good.